everybody, and welcome to a video that um, didn't want to happen, apparently. Uh, my camera, hello, was not picking me up, and it's been a whole faff on. We've finally got it working, and we're back in Jurassic World the game. Isn't it? It's been a long time, hasn't it? And hold on, I need to go and close the door, or else Winnie will tell me off for yelling. And we're back. So, <laughs> excuse me if my voice is a little bit uh, broken. For the first time in a long time, I recorded with Bro Gaming. Oh, <gasps> shock horror. But we're here in. Jurassic World the game. How long has it been? Like a month? <laughs> this has to be the longest break from a Jurassic World the game video I've ever taken. Um, so I would go on about it till the cows come home. But um, we only have seven minutes left to do this Kraken event. Um, so we're going to do it. We have seven minutes to get to like uh, level eight or something ridiculous. So good news is that it's weak to, um, what do you call it? It's weak to surface. <laughs> so, do, like I said, I apologize if my voice is <laughs> kind of broken. Um, trying to let it recover, but um, I was like, you know what? I haven't done in ages. I have not done this. I have not recorded this in ages. Oh, God. Are we good? Oh, I thought the audio wasn't recording properly. We're all good. We're good. We're going to go for three because he might have one block and he does. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Uh, oh, no, he's not. I forgot my bad. This is a boss event. They don't die, do they? Don't be silly, James. They don't die. <laughs> they just come back even stronger. Right, so we need to get, I think, to, it might be level 10. It might be level 8. Either way, we've got a bunch of new events. I say that we're going to get a bunch of new events uh, will pop in in about seven minutes. That was all his attacks, wasn't it? Ooh. He's got like a deep fryer behind him. Look at that, pumping out purple and red energy. <laughs> Evil. I like how we got the laser fence at the top there. What's to stop them from, you know, going out? It should be the across the ceiling, right? Or across, across the top of the arena. Not the sides, they can swim over it. You fools, Lydia. Did you not, <laughs> not think about that? It looks like they fixed the uh, the Megalodon animation, though. Because there was a lot of times the eye was just sort of moving about in the skull. But it looks like they fixed it. The eye looks really good on the Megalodon. Oh, my God. Whoa. Wait, what happened? My Megalodon just, just disappeared. <laughs> it just vanished. Wait, it's still there? What? I'm still using it as attack. What? Wait, 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 wait. What's going on? Guys? Um, wait, what's going on? Wait, what, what, wait, 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 wait a minute. Zombies? I'm using a zombie creature? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Whoa. Uh, this is, I've never had this happen before. What? Do I need to switch? Can I switch? <laughs> Who's playing with like a zombie creature? Oh, that was weird. I should have just tried to keep on going and see if he could, he could have used like eight attack or something like that. Because now he's got seven and he's definitely going to kill me if he goes for that seven. We're on five. We've got five minutes left. Oh, God, he killed us. So he's got one block. Uh, we kill him in three. So one, two, three. He's dead. Uh, factor of one extra. And then I'm going to go for two block. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Come on. There we go. We can get to level 7. Get to level 7. That's all we care about. I don't care about the missions. I just want the super DNA. Gonna get it. Also, we have a new building. <gasps> it's all just happening up in here. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go for I'm just gonna go all out. I mean, I probably didn't need to. But if we can get to 7, um, and in the next battle, I'll, 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 I'll have to have a second look to see what we get. Whoo! Oh, it's crazy. But I just, I feel like I'm go, go, go recently. I've just been all go, go, go. And I've got a busy day today. Jesus. <laughs> and off he goes to go make more zombie dinosaurs, apparently. Zombie aquatics. Oh, look at all the brachiosaurs over there. How nice. Yeah, so this has been completed, apparently. Um, and I'm assuming in about five minutes, I'll be able to get that reward. So what is it? What is it? Hold on. We don't have time. We need to go through, uh, reach level 10. Reach level, well, we're not doing the other one, but we need to reach level 10. We've got three minutes. we got to reach level 10, guys. Guys, 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 guys. Need to reach level 10. Okay, so we're just going to select surfaces. 
Uh, you. Um, definitely you. And then that should do it. I shouldn't need anything extra than that. We've definitely got level 8. We're definitely level 9. And 10's a guarantee, right? I think at le we'll get it to level 10, and then my best creature will die. The hybrid. Be that'll be taken out. So, come on. It just depends whether... I mean, if we get to level 10, do we just let ourselves die? And hopefully we'll get it within the three minutes? I don't know. It's all up in the air. Yes, there you go. Level eight. Boom. Done. Done and done. See, you don't... Oh, yeah. Also, if you didn't know, since recording the last video, there has been a uh, Pteranodon Gen 2 was released. I didn't get it. Um, I didn't realize it was released because I've been playing a lot of Jurassic World Alive. Um... And they've put raid battles in there, and raid battles take ages. And not only have you got raid battles, but you've also got, um, you've got, um, just, you've got to do the, you know, your general battles to collect incubators. You've got to do your tournament battles to, you know, get the cups to unlock the, I mean, tournaments are, oh god. Oh, that was close. Oh, we done it, we done it, we done it. Go, 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 go kill him. I've never seen that before. I've never seen that zombie glitch. I was hoping we could just keep on attacking. Woo! I wonder if it... It must just be with him if he goes for his 8 animation. And you're speeding up the animation. Well, is it killed him? Oh, there you go. <laughs> go on. Kill the Stixosaurus. Snap him. Like a little twig. No. And off it goes. Like a true squid. <laughs> oh, we got an event there. We got a, a what's it called? A, a code nineteen. That's it. Not the other word, or else we'll get demonetized. <laughs> oh, let's do that then. Let's do that because I think we've got about less than two minutes. Probably just a minute until this clock's over. Just looking at it there. Ooh. Oh no, no! I'm not good at these. I did one I, when I woke up in the morning. I had a quick check to see if I still had time to do this. Because I've woken up, I've got builders around in my house. I've just, I've, I've went outside and I chat with the builders. And then I've came up here. And, well, I had a chat with Whitney as well. Whoa, Jesus. That was quick. Um, and I'm like, oh, great. I've got, I got, I got half an hour left to do this. And then I had a blooming failing with the, the captures. I was like, why is it not picking up the camera? <laughs> So this, again, every time I record Jurassic World the game, it's like, I wasn't meant to record today. <laughs> but we're doing it. We haven't got much DNA, and that's going to be another one of the bombs. I don't like these. Although, oh, we didn't get any extra DNA, but we did do it. Oh, he's wanting to break out again. We've got loads of glitches up in here since this update. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Bam! There we go. Let's do perfect. Let's get perfect. If I get a perfect, you all have to become members, right? And if I, if I don't, then you all have to become members. See what I did there? Very good. Whoop. Come on. I'm doing it. This is for you guys. We got this. It's like a live stream. Except for not. But anyway. <laughs> no! Damn it! Ah, missed one. Oh, that could have been perfect. Oh, oh well, uh, missing one. We could still get a decent amount of DNA. Yes, there you go. There you go. It's not like 600 DNA, but it is still 330. For missing one, that's not so bad. Another 10. And uh, there you have it. Okay, claim the super DNA. Thank you, please. So we got level 7, we got level 10, and we fought him. So within three minutes... Of just or four or five minutes of doing that event, doing the Kraken event, we've got all of that super DNA. Let's claim that. Damn. Oh, yes. Oh, beautiful. Yes. Okay. Well, we have the new events. And I'm on level 91. Is there anything? Where am I? When? Why am I? Oh, look. We can, we can get this for free. Brilliant. Excavation. Oh, it's close. It's close. Do we have any more? Do we have any more XP? Because I think there's battles infinite. Yeah, look, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97. They only give 7,000 DNA each. Oh. Why only, why only DNA? Why can't they just give you more and more DNA the higher it gets? I know, because they're stingy. That's right. I've called you out, Lydia. 
<laughs> they already know at this point. So, we do have a new building. We have this thing. This is the best one because this is an instant... Oh, is it that? Is it that one? What is this one? Instant recovery. Yes. This is the good one. So, you play this game. You've got good dinosaurs, aquatics, flies, whatever you want to call them. Call them dinosaurs. Blanket statement. This... Let's say you use your, in my position, I would use Pachygalosaurus, which is the best hybrid. Use that, it takes about a week for that to come back. We can instantly get it back, done, once. Straight away. Instant Creation Lab is another good one. Um, there was somebody who, oh, woo, more rewards. Oh, so these have refreshed now. Wait, what? So, they're not giving us any new buildings. So, for the first... Seven months. You kind of get a new building every time, almost. After that, what's this reward? You get an extra slot in the super DNA, and you get a VIP pass. What's it? Is that? That looks like a solid gold. I've never, I've never heard of that. Okay. Um. Well, then the next one is what is? Oh, hold on. No, 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 no. What, what's this one? You get Ammonite Oasis. Ooh, is that... I don't think that's new. Well, it, I th it is new, but I don't think it's ex exclusive. Sorry, that's what I mean. I bet that's part of the uh, solid gold pack. I'll have to have a look. And then after that, you get uh, more recoveries, which is really good. You need those. Um, and then after a year, you get... Ooh, Indoraptor Skylight. More instant hatches and more instant fuses. And they say more... They probably mean one more. <laughs> Let's be honest. More does mean more than what you have, but they could just say plus one. I mean, unless they do give us more, which is really good. I like the Indoraptor, though. That's a nice touch. And then after that, oh, coming soon. That's probably why they've done the update, because it's like some people are getting very close to six months, and then after that, it's like, well, I don't know, is it worth it? So it's, I feel like, in a way, it's a bit of a cop-out to just be like, ah, you get more of the same stuff. I want, like, um, imagine a VIP creature that was exclusive to having this for a year. Hmm. Is that good? I mean, it's, it kind of rewards people for having the VIP, but at the same time, it's, it's kind of hiding a dinosaur behind a paywall, isn't it? But if it was something like Ultima Source or something, you know, something kind of really rare, I could understand that. Anyway, we got a lot, and I mean a lot, of T-Rexes. A lot of Gen 2s, so I don't think I need to sell these. I've, oh, wait, I've only got two of them. Only got two, so these unfortunately aren't going to be sold. I kind of don't need them, though. Uh, I could sell them, I suppose. Hmm. Because the only reason we need T-Rex Gen 2 is to make Indominus Rex Gen 2 in order to make Indoraptor Gen 2. Um... Okay, so we'll sell these. So I do apologize, because I know I, I do see, and I have seen my channel all throughout its life is people that have said oh i watch your Jurassic world the game videos so i do in a way feel a little bit guilty that i haven't played this game but i i didn't feel like there was anything new in a way like to sort of cover the game um i mean there's always new stuff added to it but i, I mean i've been playing like all these other games like the minecraft series i couldn't have kept that going uh you know playing it for a while all as long as i did um if I can- Wait, what? No. No. <laughs> They've changed the trades. Okay, every time I do a coin trade for a dinosaur, it gives me the max. So, I, it's always a legendary, or it's a hybrid. That, since I've updated, that's the first time I've traded coin for a common. Have they fixed that? Oh, okay. That's better. That's better. Like, that's normal. I've never once seen that. I never once trade a coin for a common. Okay, let, let's collect more coin. Okay, from everything around the park. We're going to do that one more time. Let's see. They fixed it. They fixed it. The fact that you only get three trades... It was, it was like, okay, you could do two trades for gold and dinosaurs, and you'd probably get, an, you know, you get your DNA worth. And you'd lose all the coins, but still, you want the DNA, right? Because coins are sat there doing nothing. But now they've made it so you can get everything else. 
Ah, uh, no. No, why you, Why did you do that, Ludia? Stop it. Stop break. Stop making things less fun. God. Oh. Because your trades are so vital. Because what I, what I have been doing is trading my coin for two epic creatures. And then the last trade, I'll trade, um, I'll trade some creatures for bucks. So, I'll, you know, every time I do this or every day, um, I get 50 bucks. Guaranteed. Uh, not just from the packs. However, I have been opening the uh, the mystery packs and getting th like 30 bucks or two lots of 30 bucks each time. So I do want to have a look to see what we get in here. Uh, so 50% and... Huh. Okay, so it's almost guaranteed. It's 50% you'll get the bucks, but 30, that's pretty decent. I think with regular mystery pack on a level 50 plus, it's probably just 10. I'd assume it's just 10. And this is all less than... Whoa, whoa? Wait, wait a minute. Even those are less than 1%? And they're, and they're 1%. Oh, so there's more chance you'll get some super DNA. You know what? That's actually better. That's actually better than getting the, uh, than a dinosaur is getting the super, the, uh, super DNA. So, let's have a look. Apparently we've all oh, we've done three trades. There you go. Fantabulous, yes. Uh, do I need to exit out? Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna close the game. We're gonna close the game. And we're gonna jump back in. And see if we can claim that prize. Because I think it was completed. I think, I think we did do the golden... Weird boy, I don't know what it's- oh wait, what? <gasps> Woo, we got it! I don't believe it. I don't believe it. The one creature I miss in a tournament, the Pteranodon Gen 2, gets a hybrid. The one creature I miss got a hybrid? We- there was Mosasaur Gen 2. Mosasaur Gen 2, I don't think has a hybrid. And I've got that. So my thought was, okay, I'm not going to waste time on Tyrannodon Gen 2. It will eventually get a hybrid, but I'm okay. And you're, you're telling me literally a week later from release, it gets a hybrid. Mosasaur Gen 2. Hold on. I, I'm pretty sure this thing doesn't have a hybrid. I'm pretty sure. Let's go into aquatics. Um, scroll down to hybrids. There's this one. That's the Zixthes. And this one, which isn't. And you, I, it doesn't show what your recipe is. But that's... And you're telling me, and you're telling me that I missed this one hybrid and it gets it instantly. The Terra Quetzal. That's ridiculous. Come on. Oh man, that sucks. <laughs> okay, so usually when this happens... They, they release a pack to buy, don't they? Uh, it's the There's a terrible thing to do. I like how, there you go. You can get your Quetzal right there. You can unlock it that way. But if you didn't get the Pteranodon, they usually have a way to buy it. That's a regular Pteranodon. Do not be fooled. That's a regular one. Uh, what else is there? These are like... Usually they release it and it's like a hundred quid or something ridiculous. Grady survival kit. Oh, God. And then there's these ones, which aren't going to be worth it. I mean, I do a VIP, so I could get that. Double dinosaurs. Probably going to get some rubbish dinosaur. And DNA of food. Who really cares about that, really? Um, and then view all best offer. And that that's the... Uh, yeah, it's just those. So... That's really deceiving. It's like, oh, you, the Tyrandon Gen 2. Oh, but he's a regular one. Buy it for 28. Save 40%. But it's a regular. Okay. Okay. So, oh, what's this? What's this bundle? Ooh, look at them. You even get the Echo statue. Wait a minute. When did they release these? Or is this only like a pay for? Nine pound, you get the rarity jackpot, which just gives you loads of these. And you get all- why wow, you get loads? It's all Echo. Wait, is that the only way to get these? Why- why does Echo look like, um, look like a, a cheetah or a jaguar or something? I swear Echo's design has changed so- is one raptor in the raptor squad, which designs change all the time. I don't believe that they made a hybrid. That's- 
That's that's typical. That's typical loot. You're like, eh, yeah, how would you like that? Yeah, you can't get it, can't yeah. <laughs> yeah, cheeky gits. Cheeky gits. I don't believe that. Don't believe it. But what else we got? Mm, got that. We got the new creature. We got this as well. Glow in the dark. A majestic new creature is lighting a path to Jurassic World. So I'm assuming in about four days, we're getting Camp Cretaceous is releasing um, on Netflix, which is the new animated Jurassic World short. And it has glow in the dark or bioluminescent paras. So I'm assuming that when that releases, we're going to get an also in-game exclusive Camp Cretaceous Parasaurolophus. So that's interesting. Uh, is there anything else new? We've got the VIP only packs with the tis 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 tis. We've got the Alumbia. Um, like us on Facebook. Uh, what What is that? I was going to look at something. That's right, VIP. Here we go. Okay, so we've got the Pagoda Guard. Nothing new here. Um, let's have a look in... Is it decorations? Is there a decoration pack? Or do they, they just cycle, don't they? I think they just cycle. Let's have a look at the solid gold. What, are they, what do you get in the solid gold? Okay, it's always resources. Okay. And then you get something from this. Which isn't too bad. You know what? I'm going to spend it. I'm going to... I may as well. Like, that Pterodon hybrid will be super expensive. Um, it would have been great to have the instant hatch on it. That would have been good. Uh, but it takes a week to get that back. Which is crazy. Uh, so we'll open this. Oh, yay, coin! But, but, press the sutures. Out of all of them, he's one of the best amphibians. I'll take that. I will take that. So instead of 10,000, it's cost me 8,700. So, it could be worse. It could be worse. Oh, God, no. Do not click that one. Good Lord, do not click that one. The 35,000. Oh, none of these are worth it. None of them. They're all rubbish. No, not worth it at all. Okay, so let's have a look. What What is VIP? Ooh, we got a bronze. And then we got this. We got that. Oh, you get you get a Mosasaur pack? <gasps> Ooh. Oh, it's not the original Mosasaur. I feel like the original Mosasaur pack had like 2,000 bucks in it or something crazy. It's nice to see that. That brings back memories. Oh, it looked so cool, that pack. I was like, oh, <gasps> aquatics! <laughs> Uh, what else have we got coming up? Gen 2 Fury, do not need. Rarity Rumble, if it was a, if it was a guaranteed legendary rumble pack, I would do it. But it's like a spin wheel, so it's very low. However, I will do this one, because this one is easy. Um, let's do... Oh, no, not do that, not do that, do that. So we'll do the aloe, which... Or lamb. A langosaurus, which could easily kill the raptor. And then Flaffy. Little Fluffy comes in. Or is it Evil Fluffy? I can't remember. Diplo is Diplotator Evil? It was Tater Tots, wasn't he? Can't remember. Too James, you've given too many dinosaurs, too many names. We can't, we can't remember them. There you go. Beautiful. This one's easy. Easy peasy. Um. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Before we do that, I want to have a look in here. Now, people have told me I've got some super hybrids to make. Um. Now... Now, now, now. I think I've got a lot of Diplo sutures to make. How much DNA do I have? I've got... We're halfway to getting Indoraptor Gen 2. We're halfway. Um, 2,000... I can, def can I make two more mono steg mono Stegotops? Or is that... No, that's Mono for source. 3,000 for Mono. I think we can. Hold on. How much is it? How much is it for Mono? I can make three. Now, this is the question, right? Do I do that? Because just like Interrupted Gen 2, where I thought that the um, the, the Raptor DNA was only going to be for Indoraptor, they switched it and made it also for Interrupted Gen 2. So, do I hold off and not get any, or do I get them? That's... Mm. It was a little... It was... Ah, there's always these... Li like, Ludia keeps on doing these little sly moves that trick the player. Little bamboozles that make you just have to grind more. Like, for... When this Super DNA was put in, it was all about, um, you know, oh, this one... You know, this new Super DNA makes this hybrid. And it was like that for Diplosuchus, Monostegatops, Tabjalosaurus, Spinos Spinosuchus, Indoraptor. So you thought, oh, you might as well just spend the DNA to unlock those. And then keep on buying them to make them better, right? And then they put a fast one on you and go, actually, 
The Raptor DNA can also be used for Indoraptor Gen 2. And I just bought one. If I hadn't bought an Indoraptor, I could afford Indoraptor Gen 2 now. I can't because just before they put in Indoraptor Gen 2, I bought another Indoraptor because I just got 2000 DNA. There should be a warning about that. And again, just like in the trades, I was like, oh, well, I'll trade coin for the good dinosaurs. Switched it. Didn't say anything. Didn't say anything at all. Switched it. Maybe it's in the settings. Maybe it's under like the update changes. But as far as a regular player, just coming in, thinking that everything was going to be normal, switched. And therefore, I got I got done out of a trade. I got done out of a trade. I have got done out of Interrupted Gen 2. There's all these just little things that just aggravate. It's like stubbing your toe all the time. It's like, stop! Stop putting the bloody thing there! Um, but, okay, so we'll not do that. But I think somebody said I have enough to unlock the Tapijala thing. I think that's what somebody said. Uh, this thing. In, uh, in creation lab, search, search. I do have enough. Ooh, okay, let's do it. Where, where is it? Where is it in the park? So it's a hybrid. It's the flyer. We'll go to it. Here we go. Let's fuse. Sod the bloody new uh, hybrid thing, whatever it is. We're gonna make this one. It's a hybrid of a hybrid. <gasps> we can instant fuse it. Let's use the instant fuse, baby. Fire 700 and done. There you go. So that is 2,000. It's only cost me 1,000 now to get this. Now, I can guarantee that this thing is better than the new hybrid because it now only costs 1,000 once I've unlocked it. And it's a bit like... Um, oh, yeah, let's put you there. It's a bit like the Carnoraptor or the, um, the Monostegatops. It's just so much better. So at level 10, it has 3,000 health and 972 attack. Oh, oh, that is so good. Where does that fit in with the roster? Oh, yes, you look gorgeous. I mean, well, you don't. You kind of look like something from Resident Evil. But still, I appreciate your health and damage. So the dense membranes in this pterosaur's bones allow it to support itself in flight. Well, I hope so. It's supposed to fly. Um, right, so we got that. And... I don't want to do anything else. I don't want to... We'll have a look. We'll have a look. What are the hybrids? What are the super hybrids? So we got those unlocked. We can make three monostegatops. But do I do that? There might be something. Monolorion? I'm trying to think of other... Because Interactive Gen 2, right? That's from Jurassic World Alive. This new flying hybrid, whatever it is, the Terra Quetzal, is from Jurassic World Alive. The level 40 is 10,849 health and almost 2,000 attack. Compare that to the Zalmonodon. Zalmonodon's better. I mean, yeah, it doesn't have 2,000 extra health, but it has almost 1,000 extra attack. And you want... If, if you have the option, 2,000 health, 1,000 attack, go for the 1,000 attack. Health doesn't stack, but attack does. You do 8 attacks, you're getting like... 20,000 extra attack for your 1,000 extra attack at the start. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I mean, yeah, you want more flyers, but for the, for the price that you're going to have to pay, to, and especially books, to get that to level 40, it's going to take you a regular player, mind you, not a cheater, which Ludia still have not cracked down on. My God, we still have content creators who hack the game Making content on it. Accounts aren't banned. What are you doing? Ludia, stop. If you stop, if you don't do anything about it, I'm going to stop playing this. <laughs> like, like with, with all these things that are being put in to like slowly nerf the player and little, ooh, I just, I just don't like it. I'm not liking it. I, I mean, I like the game. The game's good. I just don't like the things that they're doing with it. Ah, oh, I wish, I wish, I really wish you weren't the way you are. I really wish you weren't. <laughs> the thing is, I know the people working on this don't think of putting in stuff to, like, to stifle the player. It's all the higher-ups that are like, okay, we need, we need people spending more money in the game. We need people spending more time in the game. How do we do this? 
I know, we'll make it harder to get dinosaurs. I know, we'll make it so... I don't, we, they can't trade things anymore. I know, we'll take books out of packs. I know, we'll be asses. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Big butt faces. Oh, God. Well, anyway, let's have a look where it is in the roster. Because I am genuinely curious. Uh, earth shattering? Haha. -ha. Oh, no, it's only amphibians. Uh, we're going to have to go into PVPs, I think. If not... Here we go. Okay, so where does it fit into the roster for flyers? There you go. There you go. Look at that Zalmonodon I've got at level 20. It's not far off it at level 10. Tapagelophallus is going to be... Or tap, tapagelocephalus. Japocephalus. Ja Japocephalus. That one. That one. That at level 40... That is going to be the second best. The second best. You know, apart from getting Zalmonodon on level 40. And even then, I, I, I feel like it's going to be better than Zalmonodon and better than a new hybrid. At that, that's crazy. Oh, man. I'm loving that, though. Okay, let's win a pack. Let's do a pack. This is easy. Just put in some amphibians. Ooh, Diplosuchus is a good one. However, I won't use Diplosuchus. I mean, look at that. Level 30. Bam. Look how high that is. At level 40, it's going to go whoop, straight above. It's got, I think it might even go above. Or it's going to tie for Ostroposaurus's spot. I don't think it'll get there. It'll definitely be better than Presosuchus, Mastodonosaurus, and Coolosaurus. Another thing that kind of irks me about the super hybrids is you can't sell the super hybrids for super DNA. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind selling a few Indoraptors to unlock Indoraptor Gen 2. But you can't do that. Once you've spent your super DNA, you cannot refund it. Normally in the game, you can, you know, whatever you sell your dinosaur for, you'll get half its worth. You know, for its initial cost. So I don't know what the, the level is up for uh, selling an Indoraptor. What, what DNA you get from it. I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be like 10,000 or 50,000 DNA. It should be like 200,000 DNA for an Indoraptor. It really should be. Um, but they don't give you that much. <laughs> if you could sell Indoraptor for, you know, it costs 2,000 to get an Indoraptor. If you sold an Indoraptor for 1,000 Super DNA, that would be good. I wouldn't mind doing that. And to be fair, Ludia, you might want to do that. Because to get an Indoraptor to start with, I think it's 4,000 DNA to unlock it, maybe? Is it? Because it's double, isn't it? And then it halves. Something like that. So even if you do let players sell um, their super hybrids for half the cost of, you know, the half price buying. So a quarter of the initial. I, I wouldn't mind selling two Indoraptors to unlock Indoraptor Gen 2. I wouldn't mind doing that. But it's... The problem is... I can't. It's not part of the problem of the game. <laughs> it's part of the problem. It's not part of the game. Ooh, all right then, all right. You want to play tough, buggers? I'm just going to... Oh, yes. The big brain plays. Come on. What are you going to do? <laughs> nothing. That's what you did. You're going to do nothing. One, two, three, four, five, and then three reserves. Oh, okay. Fair enough, I guess. Great. He's going to block for four constantly. Is that it? Is that what you're going to do? That apparently is what you're going to do. So I'm going to have to go for six. And then one reserve. Because he's going to block for four again. He did it again! <laughs> well, yeah, dead this time. Ooh, Soprano Titan. Mm, wouldn't be able to kill me if I blocked. But did kill me because I didn't block. <laughs> Whoopsies. Right. Acanthostega can definitely kill you. This is for a bronze, mind you. A bronze pack. And we're at a 57 on a super hybrid. Woo! Or, sorry, a hybrid, I should say. All right, next one. Ooh, a little bit more of a mixed bag. Like, look at this. One, two, three, four. That's 4,000 super DNA there, if I was able to sell them. In total, it's two, two, four, six, eight. Um, and then that's two, that's four more. So that's 16,000. 16,000 super raptor DNA there in these guys. Not factoring in the it would be 18,000 for the initial cost 18,000 super raptor dna i i put into this i've got tw i've in total throughout the whole time interrupt has been here i've gathered 20,000 
interrupt, oh sorry, Super Raptor DNA. But I'm not allowed to refund any of it to get the new one. Again, another way for Ludia to extend the longevity of it. But I don't get why you would bother doing that if you allow hackers in the game. What's the point? Everyone who's legit should just be like, okay, I'm not spending any money. I'm not playing the game until you get rid of the hackers. I ain't doing it. Then we'd see. Then we'd see. Oh. Yes, I know. I know it would be a good idea, Ludia. Put out a statement saying if hackers get caught, they'll be banned or whatever. Yet, you can Google these hackers, but they won't be banned. Thought process. Zero percent sense. <laughs> and I know why. I know why they don't ban those hackers. It's because they're promoting the game. Simple as. That's it. And that's something we've got to think about, in the, especially in the current climate, is how much are you willing to compromise your morals for money? And obviously, obviously Ludia, I would hypothesize, is ready to do that because they're not taking action on the hackers who are on YouTube who hack the game. And the thing is, I, it's, I haven't got anything against the person behind the accounts who are hacking. Because that's their grind. That's what they do. That's how they earn their money. Their ad revenue. But it's Ludia that went out and said, if you do this, you'll be banned. But they're going to turn a blind eye because it's free advertising for the game. It's something that needs to be kind of talked about because this, this kind of thing, like how much are you willing to compromise your mor morals in order to, you know, get money is something that we definitely need to talk about in the current climate of the world. Um, but I'm not, I'm not going to go into something as in-depth. and in, you know, th That kind of moral applies to pretty much everything. Uh, so the, the, what, what is the, uh, the saying? Silence is golden. That's Ludia. <laughs> Silence is golden. Gold makes money. Yes. <laughs> uh, I wonder what they think about me. I, 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 I'm genuinely curious what they think about me talking about this. Because I feel like if I was a smaller YouTuber and they caught wind of me talking about this, they might ban me for like, but maybe they wouldn't because that's censorship. But then, I don't know. I don't know. Either way, we're about to win a pack. So, ooh. I would be tempted. To, like, look at this. This is crazy. 2,600 attack. Tempted to use Segna Sutures. I'm tempted to use Segna Sutures here. I use Segna Sutures. I kill Quetzal in one hit. Then he switches into Ostafricosaurus. What a name that is. <laughs> I just had, had like a moment of like, is that, is that, is that genuinely how, what its name is? Yes, it is. Um, and he can't kill me in one hit. And then I would be able to kill him in three. It's not hard. It's just a case of me trying to figure out what's the best way of using my creatures to not waste them. Pretty much if I just put in um, amphibians, I'm good. I'm good. That's really good, though. Put in those guys. Put in those guys. Okay, so... Woo! It almost survived one hit. Aquetta at level 398. Good lord. Woo! He could kill me. Ah, he might switch, though. He can kill me. He can kill me. He doesn't. He goes for it. Oh, no, that sucks. <laughs> That's not what I was hoping for. <laughs> no. I not think about that. I think he was going to kill me. I thought he was just going to go for the swap. Okay, we have to go for loads of reserves here. We have to do it. I thought it was an easy win. I didn't think he was going to die straight away. Oh, no. Oh, that's good. Okay, that's good. That's good. So we've got eight. I don't know how much he has. He might have two block. He might have three block. Two, three. I'm going to factor in two block. Always save it to factor in two block. And we did it. And there you go. We've, we've won. We've won. We get extra attack. We nerf his attack. And we have seven. And he has only four. And if I blocked, I would have survived. But doesn't make any difference. We do die. But we also have another uh, amphibian, which we can just go for seven. Dun dun dun! I don't even want to see you die, or me do the animation. There you go. He's like ah for a second. Oh, we did it! Oh, that was quick. <gasps> Look, a Sundopterus. Brilliant. 
260 VIP points. That helps go towards the uh, pack that I bought and goes towards the Mosasaurus pack. Ooh, I think I've only ever opened two Mosasaurus packs. Or maybe three. Because I, I managed to win it luckily on the 0.001% chance and at the end of the tournament. And then I think it's came around again. I think I've definitely opened it. So let's, uh, let's do these two. Quickly knock out this pack as well. I mean, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this whole, like, hacker situation. Just the way that Ludia seems to switch things out that want to make you play the game longer when it's... I don't know, I always thought there was something fun in the game of finding a way to get resources quick. And that was part of the fun. That was part of the fun. It's like finding a shortcut. It's like a speedrunner finding a, you know, finding an extra a route in the game that shaves off two seconds. It's like, oh, I could, you know, if I keep on doing this. And we've had stuff in the past in this game where you could reset the infinite battle pack. Now, bear in mind, you didn't, the amount of, you had to like buy back the pack. You had to spend books to get the pack and then do the battle. And you weren't guaranteed to get books in that. You know, because and now they've taken books out of packs completely. Um, or at least some packs don't give you books at all. Um, so it's just like they've slowly done ways to just make it less and less fun. That's, that's how I see it. They've just taken out a lot of the fun from the game. Like with Jurassic Park Builder, the fun was, you know, finding a way to get claws. So you could just do as many specials, you know, special attacks that you wanted to. But anyway, guys, it has been 42 minutes. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I do apologize. It has been a little bit um, on the ranty side. But I can't help it. That it, Like, I want to be, I want to have fun. But when these things are just, like, thrown in my face, it's like, come on, man. There's a reason why I haven't covered this game in a month. If you're not careful, Lydia, it'll stop. And it'll be your fault. Yes, you. Because you've done loads of damn annoying things over the past. Oh, I, I get why they do it. I really do. It's just... From, from a player who doesn't hack the game, it's like... There's no fun in it anymore. There's no there's no fun in 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 the certain things that I, I've done. Yes, they've added they have put things in like the you know the daily objectives and they have. Ooh, oh, I could get some more money. Ooh, hold on, I want to feed something. What can I feed? Antarctica pet. I guess why not? There you go. Just just enough. Ooh, oh, oh, look at all that. Oh, that was brilliant. I didn't even know I'd got all those. Ho -ho. There you go. We got loads of extra books. And wait a minute. Oh, yeah. All of those as well. See, that's fun. That's fun. It's not fun when, like, if all of a sudden I was to think, oh, I'm going to get all those rewards and they're halved. That's basically what they do. I was like, oh, I'm going to go into the trades and get two epic creatures and then trade books. Wait, I, I got a common and a super rare. I did get a legendary, sorry. But come on. <laughs> what are you doing? Anyway, guys. We're going to wrap it up here. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Bye-bye. <laughs>